Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another testing review and another old ball by Elisha's Hell. This one is from Brauerei Broitzu Lo, located in town Dorfen in Oberbayern. So, um, once again, it's uh, a brewery from the southern part of Bavaria. Um, I'm interested in Bavarian breweries and beers, as you know if you go and follow my channel. Uh, I'm all about uh, Bavarian breweries. So, it comes in this... Uh, Euro bottle shape, as you can see, which is quite popular bottle shape for small uh, Bavarian breweries. Um, that's of course a private brewery, family owned, and uh, quite um, old fashioned impression regarding how the um, bottle looks and the label looks, in my opinion. For example, no print on the top cap, no back label, just this top label, which I can show closer to you right here, looking like this. And the main label looking like this. This brewery gives a real nice impression. I like the traditional old family breweries like this one as a good example of Boy Tzu Lo. Uh, and uh, it's the Hell Export, uh, which is, of course, export uh, style is a little bit stronger than the normal Helles lager. Helles, of course, translates to pale, so it's a pale lager. But the export style, which is uh, this one, is 5.2 percent volume. That's uh, where the export is uh, regarding the uh, alcohol content strength. Uh, also, they have a little bit rich, more rich and full taste, in my opinion, often compared to the normal Helles Lager. But this one is gonna be really nice to try. Uh, interesting, of course. I've been looking forward to it a lot. This old Bavarian brewery. Of course, I'm to to the firm, uh, to the brewery's website also also in the description box below. So let's open up the bottle. Uh, this is also the most sold beer from this beer style all or from this brewery. Uh, so that makes a good choice to choose this one to review from this brewery. Also, a big thanks to uh, to the brewery who did send me this bottle, so I could review it on my channel. So thanks to the brewery for that. It's very appreciated when I. Uh, contact the brewery that they um, choose to to respond and to uh, support the channel by doing that because <clears throat> what I want to do is of course I want to give um, um, attention and support to the to this uh, bar members that I like so much so appearance of course very pale golden in color and nice Two finger thick white foam crown, which is important to build up, of course. Uh, it unleashes the right aromas from the hops and maintain it all the way through because um, it gives the right taste in a glass if you maintain the foam head, in my opinion. Uh, can show the foam head closer to you. Thick white foam crown, as you can see, it can turn the glass without any risk uh, because the foam head is so thick and that's something very positive, of course, also a quality sign. So let's get the aroma, which is of course very fresh, um, easy to feel that the um, high quality raw materials and high quality brewing process is something that I can feel in the aroma. So let's pour the rest like this, and it's also a quality sign the foam that rises up uh, above the edge of the glass after the pouring. Uh, so, looking great in my opinion, and let's give it a try. The Boy to Low Hell from Dorf and Oba by Om Post. Yeah, um, this actually is really, really great. Um, it has the perfect uh, rich taste that at least I want from a headless export from Bavaria. Uh, high quality raw materials as I mentioned, hops taste is there and a richness that is uh, very easy to appreciate and uh, very easy to drink also. A really great uh, head export in my opinion. So a big recommendation of course I hope you're gonna visit the Bruce website also in the description box below. 
let's take a closer look at the label once again i love the color combination of it by the way with golden white and blue and red making it look really nice originalbrauerei abfüllung kühl und dunkel lager uh, point to law familienbrauerei seit 1928 nikolaus lohmeier zu law uh, alcohol content 5.2 percent volume volume hell export Oizolo 84405 Dolphin Zutaten, Brabasso, Gersemat, Hopfen. That's the information from the bottle. Now over to the uh, to the books about the Warren Brewers that you know that I'm having if you've been following my channel since before. Uh, the Warren Brewers is, as I mentioned at the beginning, my big interest. So we have this book right here by Marcos Raupach, really great book about all the brewers in Bavaria. Uh, that has helped me a lot. Here is Ebro to Law in Dolphin. Here is the location of Bavaria and everything. Always interesting to have a look at how the verse looking like, reading some history about it while I review a beer, in my opinion. A recommendation Ebro to Law Export Hell, which is the one that I'm reviewing today uh, with 5.2% volume. Dolphin, Oberbayern, Ebro to Law, Brauerei Nicolas Lohmeyer. Ebro to Law DE, founded 1928, Nicolas Lohmeyer. Export Hell, Weissbeer, Martin, Dunkel, Pilz, Boy to Law, Law number 7 uh, in Dauphin. Okay, that's information from that book. Now over to some, uh, some uh, information from the British website. It was 1928, the times were bad and supply of beer in Law was pretty meager. The beer had to be fetched from pizza in the Vassen. Uh, their payment was made in kind and beer was exchanged for barley. Unfortunately, this was a bad trade for the pizza, since farmers from further afield received more for their barley than those here. In, in addition, the beer in the pizza tavern was too expensive, the service grumpy and the food not good. It was also discussed that the master brewer from Munich showed a farmer in the vicinity how brew beer and uh, that is allowed to brew 20 hectolitres a year for personal consumption. As a result, Michael Lohmeyer from Lowell decided to boil beer himself. He was joined by Grubel from uh, Wassen T. Gernbach, uh, Saiso from Kahan, Faltermeyer from Holding and Schm uh, Schmitter from Bichl. The first brewing system with approximately 400 litres cast volume was made by Grubel and the binder of uh, Puck. 300 flip top liter bottles with their own inscription were ordered, and so first uh, brew could be boiled on February 11, 1928. At that time, there were five sons and one daughter on the farm, among the, them Georg Lohmeyer, the famous writer. Although times were hard back then, Nikolaus Lohmeyer founded a brass band. There was a lot of rehearsing in the farmhouse parlor, lots of curious people came. The girls next door listened to Grandpa Lomel diligently pour the beer. It didn't take long, and the result was a charge of illegal serving. Grandpa Lomel couldn't let it sit and registered business as a brewery and inn. So soon the beer was delivered with the horse and cart, uh, and it went up. And there's many, many more uh, longer history about this brewery. Very, very interesting. So, very fine, private old brewery this one with a long history and the history goes on very long on this website so feel free to check out that if you're interested but i think that's it for now hope you like more reviews and see you again in the next bavarian beer review